Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about uh, a different way of installing modules into your, your .NET Tuco website. So you may, you may, by hearing that you may ask, okay, why the heck do I need to know another way of installing modules in .NET Tuco? Well, basically I, I have two reasons on top of my head. One is for one reason or another, maybe the, the mod that we're trying to install is too big and it's timing out. Or maybe you just have too many modules to install at once and you want a more practical way of doing that. So basically this video will, will address both needs. The need uh, to avoid a timeout with, uh, let's say, a, a huge, a very big module that you need to install and the need to install many, many modules uh, without going through the installation wizards for each one. So now, now let's log into the site as host. And at this point, we don't need to, to do anything else uh, from, from the website admin point of view. Now we do have to go to use this uh, this approach, you do have to have access to the site files, either via FTP, in case you, your site is remote, or via uh, Windows Explorer, in case you, you have the files locally, like I do have here. So again, you do that via FTP or Windows Explorer, if you have, uh, so you you can have uh, direct access to the site files. So now, so now I'm going to open the... I'm going to open Windows Explorer. So here is the root folder of my site and this is my site uh, files. This is my site folder. I have to open the site folder. I have to go to install folder and then module folder. So you're going to see some files that are already here. Don't worry about those files. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the zip files for the modules that I want to install and I, I will have to copy those files into this folder. So let me open another uh, folder. And here, here are the two uh, files that I need to install in the site to demonstrate this new uh, way of installing modules. So those are two modules that I have downloaded from uh, .com. Let me copy them and I'm going to paste those modules into again the, the folder install module okay so the the installation files are already in place and now now I just have to run uh, an URL in the browser so those files will be automatically installed just by calling that URL and the URL is just copying this. So here's the URL. It's basically your site uh, name domain, in my case localhost slash uh, dnn542. Uh, five, five, Again, this is just in my particular case. Now this is where, this is what you need. Install dot ASPX question mark mode equals to install resources. When I hit enter here, any, any modules any module installation that is placed in this folder will be automatically installed into my uh, .NET website. So let's give it a shot here. Just hit enter. Well, actually I missed the folder name. So just recap this. It should be slash install slash install.spx question mark mode equals to install resources. Let's try this again. Okay, perfect, so it's installing. And as you can see here, it has detected that uh, this module was there, the first module, the second module, user-defined table, the first module, FAQs, success, success. So both modules were installed uh, automatically just by calling this URL in my dot that took uh, site. Let's have a look if this is, if they are really there. Let's go back to this site.
may take a little bit because new DLLs were placed in the bin folder, so it needs to uh, restart the site again. So let's go to host module definitions and let's see if those two modules were if they are in place. One was FAQ, here it is. The other one was user defined tables. Here it is. So again, very simple way of installing multiple modules at the same time. Or again, another use can be if uh, you have a very big module and you want to skip the upload part of installing the module, then you can place the module straight into the folder. Just call that URL, which I'll post. I'll, I will uh, post uh, a link in the in the video post, and that's it. It will install any modules that are found in that folder. Let's just have a look at the folder again. So as you can see, those two modules. This is the, the folder that we have to, to copy the modules to. And those two modules, they are no longer here because they were installed and .NET uh, take, takes care of uh, removing them from, the, from this installation folder automatically. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.